Now, Niall, Niall Horan, we have to congratulate you on this incredible new wow. album, Heartbreak Weather. It's out on Friday. Um, tell us about the album. You say the album is, is oh, a story about the storyline of a breakup. Kind of, yeah. Does that mean you plotted the album in terms of its feel from track one to 12 or whatever? Yeah, I, I kind of tried to tell like a story throughout the track listing. Uh -huh. That's what I did in the end. But the first thing I ever wrote down when I was started writing the album was the title, Heartbreak Weather. And I was kind of like, how do I make like a, how do I turn this into like a concept album instead of every song that I sit down to write be about me and like, because I find that with Heartbreak, breakup albums, they can be very like, oh, I'm so sad. It's all about me, my side of things. Where this time I was trying to write from different angles, from the other person's angle, from people looking in potentially, that kind of thing. And the weather I was correlating to different feelings as, you know, that you would have as you come out of a breakup or whatever. Ooh, I love so, that. you know, there's the stormy days and there's the sunny days. And it kind of helped me write the concept and the storyline. So that's what I tried to do. And so did it feel right. when you were writing it? Because that's the first time I've heard you talk about being heartbroken. When you were writing it, you were write, writing it from a perspective of your own broken heart or just mm. heartbreak in general? My own. That's yeah. how the album kicked off. I wrote a song called Put a Little Love in Me. It's the first song and it's ballad and it's sad and um, yeah. And then from there I was just kind of weaving my way around the concept Heartbreak Weather. Now the tour, the Nice to Meet You tour, kicks off next month. <laughs> um, Huge the tour, dates all across the country. And I'm excited about this. Your good friend and seemingly huge star over the past 12 months, Lewis Capaldi, mm. is going to open for you on the tour. Yeah. It must be nice. Are you looking forward to having a friend on the road? I mean, it's the perfect scenario, isn't it? Like, I get to tour, to, I tour the country in arenas and a mate of mine who's also, you know, pretty all right, famous, I suppose. And yeah. uh, he's going to come with me. And, I mean, what's happened to Lewis's career and, uh, over the last you know, 18 months? I remember finding him or seeing him on Instagram or YouTube or something and he did like a couple of hundred views and I wrote to him and said, you know, you know, I love what you're doing. If you ever want to come and play a few tunes at a show of mine, you're more than welcome. And he came and opened up for me in Glasgow, played two or three songs, we had a few beers, we got on like a house on fire. And then his career did what it did and now we're touring together, so it's a perfect That's scenario. Right. It's the perfect scenario unless the two of you drag each other into there is that, yes. trouble, which yeah. I do think there is ah! potential for. <laughs> yeah. The old, uh, the old Celtic thing, the Scottish Irish thing, yes. it seems to flare up every time we meet. Um, but we've, we've kind of had to have a, ch a bit of a chat, kind of like, how do we tone this down? We're going to have to have one big blowout before we go on tour because there's no way that either of us are going to be able to get up on stage each night. To survive. And, yeah, so um, <laughs> I'm just going to put his, his dressing room on the opposite side of the arena so we don't we try and stay away from each yeah, other. Yeah, sure, that'll do it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tandy, what's the, biggest, what's the biggest audience you've ever performed for? Oh... Well, it wasn't strictly a performance. It was an accident. I was... It was, a Wem oh. it was Wembley. I know, right? It was Wembley, and I was supposed to go on stage to introduce Al Gore, who was being sat... This is in London, Wembley. Obviously, because Wembley's in London. Ugh. So, um, <laughs> I was supposed to satellite Al Gore in. And just before I went on stage, uh, they, they said to me, listen, if by any chance the satellite link with Al Gore goes down, just fill in. And I was like, but... But obviously it's not going to happen. Like, oh no 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 no. But if we if we lift up this piece of cardboard that says Phil. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, no. Serious. Mm. So I'm like, hey everybody, woohoo! So here's Al Gore, Phil. Like, <gasps> with well, his he... good friend Phil. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Whoa! I'm on stage, the whole of Wembley, and it's silent. So I just say, knock knock. Who's there? M A B. It's a big horse. M A B. It's, it's a, a big, big horse. Who? M A B. It's a big horse. I'm a Londoner. Ah! <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs>